My name is Emily Hatter, and I read the book The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Albom. Today is Eddie's 83rd birthday. He's a war veteran, feeling as if his life has no meaning anymore. All he does is fix rides at Ruby Pier, an amusement park. They've recently opened a new ride called Freddy's Freefall. This will be where Eddie was killed. Eddie was killed from a fallen cart on Freddy's Freefall. When the cart was falling, he tried to save a little girl. He could feel his hands, in, her hands in his, but she, he doesn't know if she made it out or not. The book says that not on all ends are beginnings, and it's saying that every end is the start of a new thing. It starts like this. This is a story about a man named Eddie, and it's the beginning at the end, with Eddie dying in the sun. It may seem strange to start a book with an ending, but all endings are also beginnings. We just don't know it at the time. On Eddie's way up to heaven, he feels no pain. He feels as if he's floating. He feels like a bird. Um, when he gets to heaven, he meets five people. He will meet five people. He is told. When he wakes up, he's in a teacup. He's in a teacup at Ruby Pier. So he gets up because he doesn't know why he's in a teacup. He gets up and he starts walking around. But when he starts walking around, he doesn't. He feels no pain at all. He has no joint pain. He can run. When Eddie hasn't been able to run since he was a child, and now he can with absolutely no pain. But when he looks around, he realizes that it's not the Ruby Pier he died at. It's a Ruby Pier from his childhood, from the 1920s. <clears throat> when he starts to walk around, he finds the Blue Man, a person from his childhood, and he soon finds out why he meets him. <laughs> The five people all have something to do with Eddie. Nothing having to do with the other, but they all have something to do with Eddie. This book really makes you think differently about the world. It makes you think, well, who are my five people in the world? Or who have I, whose life has I impacted? Um, each person, or this book is uh, for all readers. Um, my grandma recommended it, who was 83 years old. She recommended it to me. She loved the book, and I loved the book. So that just proves how this book is for everybody, not just for a certain age group from a certain time of their being born. I'd give this book five stars. It was an amazing book. It really elaborated on everything, but not on too much. It kept telling about how when he died, he didn't feel pain, and they really elaborated on that. And how when he was going up to heaven, he really didn't feel anything. He didn't know if he was dead or if he was in the hospital or if he was soon to wake up. But it was a really good book, and I would recommend it to anybody. I thought it was a really life-changing book. Thank you.